after 6 9 took the stand yesterday and name dropped people like Jim Jones and Cardi B. Cardi B finally responds via her Twitter, and she let it be known, like, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. And to be exact, she said, you just said it yourself, Brim, not Nine Trey. I never been Nine Trey or associated with them. Now, the original story goes, a representative from Cardi B's record label, Atlantic Records, is the 969 claims about Barty being in a gang or the alliances of two sets. So, basically, according to a report published, Cardi B was never a member of a 9 trade gangster bloods. A New York City gang 69 belonged to before re-announcing his membership last fall. Earlier today, a source reported that 6ix9ine, who was testifying against the 9 trade Gangsta Blood members, Anthony Harv Ellison and R. Jamai Newt Matt, in the racketeering trial, claimed that Cardi B was a 9 trade Gangsta Blood member. She said that she was a blood in the past, but she never claimed any connection to the 9 trade Gangsta Blood specifically. At a different point in his testimony today, 6ix9ine apparently said that he didn't pay attention to whatever Cardi B was doing to be successful. He said he knew who Cardi B was, but he didn't pay attention to her. Man, it's just like this is this is a very dangerous game that Takashi Six Nine is playing. Like he really playing with fire. Like in this situation, it's a lose lose anyway. So he's trying to go with the best lose, which is snitching. So at least he can go home. But when you dealing with a situation like that, man, this shit is dangerous. Like, you not dropping all these people who ain't got nothing to do with your BS that you got yourself into. And you not dropping all these other people putting their lives in jeopardy when it comes to their freedom or, or just or just dragging their name through the mud, period. Like, this shit ain't cool in my opinion. And But when you cooperating with the government, it's either all or nothing. You can't give ninety. You can't give ninety five percent. You can't give ninety nine. You gotta tell every little bit of information that you know, especially when it comes to you know what I'm saying connection to that crime that you was doing. Or he got a racketeering. He got a racketeering charge. So it's like it's a broad charge to where it's a whole different bunch of crimes connected into one individual or a group of people type. You know what I'm saying? So it get complicated, but. That's a dangerous. That's a dangerous game that he playing, and so, shit. You get on social media now, man. This shit is in the overall. People making light of the situation, and you know some people serious about it. But it, I, this is a serious situation. And six nine, he trying to get up out of that cage. So, we gonna see how the story continue to undevelop and unfold. And I'm gonna keep bringing you guys the updates. But in the meantime, what I need for y'all to do is hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for your boy. Drop your comments in the comment section. Give me your opinion about this situation. It's Kid Faded with Faded Culture TV signing off.